if you're thinking about trying to send a rocket to space, one of the things that might come up is the cost. Currently, the only way that we have in order to reach space is to build rockets. And as we know, rockets can be a bit expensive. How's he gonna pay for all of this? Governments and private companies have spent hundreds of millions of dollars in order to build rockets which can get to space. So what is the cost of getting to space today? My name's Josiah and I'm the chief engineer at a student rocketry group called Astra. And this group is currently focused on trying to build a rocket which will actually go to space. As we are currently deeply embroiled in the pursuit of trying to build a rocket which will reach space, we have a little bit of insight into what it actually will cost. So today we're going to share a little bit about what those costs are and how much you might expect to pay if you're trying to build a rocket which will go to space. So if space is a destination that you're looking to reach in the future, be sure to stick around to the end to see all of the things that you might encounter along the way. This may seem a little bit obvious, but the first part of the cost of getting to space is just... What would you do with a brain if you had one? There are a lot of complex systems that you will need to develop in order to have a rocket that can reach 100 kilometers of altitude. The main ones being the propulsion system, the avionics system, the recovery system, the structure system, and the aerodynamic system. It's really important to have a pretty good understanding of all of these components of the rocket in order to have a design that will actually be able to achieve the goal that you want to reach. Now, if you don't have a lot of that knowledge going in, for one second, pretend that I'm an idiot, you're going to pay some financial costs for trying to develop that knowledge. And unfortunately, those costs are not just library late fees. You dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar 50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs> There's a lot of knowledge you can gain from reading up on the topics of designing the systems related to building a rocket, but until you've actually gone and designed, manufactured, tested, and flown these systems, it's a big leap from just going from the page straight to flying rockets. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. So if you're a complete amateur coming into building rockets, I would put the cost of gaining this knowledge at around 20 to 50,000 euros. This is kind of the cost that it's going to take for you to Take your initial design, build it, test it, fail a couple of times, test again, fail some more, and then finally get to a product which will actually be useful for sending a rocket to space. But of course, if you're already a professional amateur rocketeer, we have top men working on it right now, then maybe this cost won't necessarily apply to you. The second part of the cost is just, you see everybody's got a little pile of stuff. In order to build a rocket which can actually reach space, you're gonna need to build Kind of a big structure. It's probably going to be a couple of meters tall, it's going to be somewhere in the range of 100 to 200 millimeters wide, and you're going to be working with materials like aluminum, carbon fiber, fiberglass, insulation materials, and many others. And each of these tend to be a little bit more on the expensive end. Also don't forget to think about your fuel. Sometimes fuel can be expensive. Have you seen gas prices lately? Especially if you're working with specialized fuels like nitrous oxide, or liquid oxygen or something like that. Just doing a couple of tests with those type of propellants can run you up thousands of euros. Put it on my tab. In total, the raw materials that you'll need in order to build your rocket and also maybe do a little bit of testing with that rocket is probably gonna run you somewhere on the order of 20 to 30,000 euros. Of course, this all depends on how big you decide to build your system and also how much you end up relying on fabricated products rather than building stuff yourself from scratch. And this takes us to the third element of the cost of building a rocket which might be able to reach space, which is round bottom boiling flask, 5,000 milliliters. If you want to build a rocket which is going to reach space and you want to do it for as low of a cost as possible, then you're probably going to be building a lot of things yourself. But part of that process is actually acquiring the tools that you need in order to actually build a rocket. Usually these tools will include things that you will find probably anywhere where someone's trying to work like drills, drill presses, mills, uh, lathes, but it also can include specialized equipment like 3D printers, CNC mills, um, a special type of CNC lathe, maybe a carbon fiber winding machine, and other things like this. Now, it may not be smart of you to actually go and acquire all of these specialized tools, especially if you only want to build one rocket which goes to space or something. So you might think about trying to uh, share. share. Maybe get some sort of deal with somebody who already has one. Or you could actually choose to just decide to manufacture some of the products for your rocket with a company that does it for you. But regardless of the path you choose, 
tools are definitely going to be part of the cost, and usually they end up being about equal to the cost of the actual raw material of the rocket, so somewhere in the order of 20 to 30,000 euros, depending on how much actual specialized tooling that you want to acquire in the end. You also have to remember that sometimes you actually have to build your own tools. Like for instance, while Astro was trying to spin our fuel grain, we actually had to build our own contraption which would actually spin that fuel grain and create our fuel. And just the process of creating that tool ended up costing us one or 2,000 euros. So those types of things kind of end up contributing to the cost of the overall tooling. One cost factor that could actually maybe help with your tooling cost, and one that you might not have been thinking about, is actually government is inefficient and should be dissolved. It definitely pays to have a little bit of political capital if you're deciding to build a rocket which will go to space. There are a lot of political hurdles that you're probably going to have to clear in order to achieve a feat just like this. For instance, you're going to have to get some sort of clearance in order to launch a rocket up to that altitude no matter where you are in the world. If you're in America, if you're in Europe, there's all kinds of different rules about how you can actually launch and fly a rocket of this magnitude and usually you have to go through channels that involve actually applying for like a space license and applying for and doing something like this actually requires a little bit of political capital and you're going to have to expend a lot of time in order to get those clearances you don't have any code violations do you nope but you also need to think about the political capital in the sense that you have to kind of work together with other entities that have also done things like this and maybe have tools which you can use and share in this enterprise. For instance, if you know another group that has built a rocket or uh, built a rocket in a specific way that you want to build it, they might have a tool like a lathe or a carbon fiber winding machine or something like that that you can share and actually reduce the cost of your own rocket. It also pays to network with these groups and with other people that have done things like this before because they can actually contribute to the knowledge that you have and potentially help you clear some of the knowledge hurdles that would otherwise cost you a lot of money. And with more knowledge, you might be able to save on the next cost category, which is actually one eternity later. This is an often overlooked cost to building a rocket, and although it seems obvious, it is not always clear exactly how much time it will take to do something like this. Now as far as we can tell at Astra, uh, it does take quite a lot of time indeed. We have all the parts we need, but we're slightly behind schedule. How slightly? Uh, six to nine years. Six to nine years? No, six to nine years. Right now Astra consists of about 50 members working 10 to 20 hours a week. And we've been doing this for about two years. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much time we're actually putting in in order to make our vision of getting a rocket to space possible. And we probably expect to be spending this much resources on time for the next two years. Now keep in mind that we're a little bit on the novice end of the experience scale. So we've had to spend a lot of time just learning how to build a rocket. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. If you're a little more experienced, you can maybe skip a lot of that time and just get straight to building a rocket which goes to space. But still, I would expect you to be expending probably around 50% of that time uh, if you're trying to do this. Another way to save some of that time is if you have a little bit of money, you might be able to not build so many things by hand and actually just have other companies or other people build those things for you and just pay a little bit for those products. But regardless, you're still going to be spending a huge time investment trying to get a rocket to space. It just takes time like you wouldn't believe. So be sure to clear lots of it if this is something that you want to do. But after you spent all that time, of course the main event and the main goal is to try and take that rocket to the launch stand. So how much does it cost to launch? Over the course of the last year, Astra has been looking around for different places where we might be able to launch Transcendence. And in that process, we have gathered some quotes for places where we could potentially do that. So far, the average cost for actually taking a rocket and launching it all the way to space is coming to around 100,000 euros. Now the reason why that's so expensive in Europe is because in order to launch a rocket all the way to 100 kilometers, you kind of need a big area in which you have to have all cleared of people and things where the rocket could land. When you go all the way to space, you don't just have to think about the rocket going up and coming straight back down. You also have to think about the downrange distance that that rocket's going to travel. And in the case where you're launching all the way to 100 kilometers, that downrange distance could be anything from like 50 to 100 kilometers downrange. Having that big of an area cleared of people and infrastructure 
is kind of difficult in Europe as things are quite densely populated here. Pretty much the only way you can achieve that is to launch over water. And that comes with its own challenges because then you have to, of course, go and recover a rocket in the water. <laughs> of course, you might be able to skip some of these costs if you are potentially launching from another place in the world. One example of this would be in America. America fuck yeah. There are lots of places in America where there are no people, like for instance, the desert. So as long as you have your clearances to fly a rocket all the way to 100 kilometers, you can basically drive out to the desert and try and launch a rocket. Of course, it's not completely free. You still have to bring your own launch equipment and your own infrastructure to actually make that launch possible. And that's probably gonna cost you money. So in the end, you'll probably end up spending at least half that much in order to achieve a launch that is of this caliber. So all told, for all the costs of trying to build a rocket which can go to space, you're probably going to be running somewhere in between 200 to 250,000 euros. And if you choose to build in a little bit of redundancy into your program and build multiple vehicles so that you're a little bit flexible at the launch site, you could actually end up spending 300 plus thousand euros. What the hell? Now, I hope that big number doesn't scare you into deciding not to build a rocket which goes to space, but it certainly did give me a couple of heart attacks along the way as I learned just how much it is to build a rocket and do this. Full disclosure, at the start of the project two years ago, I did a cost calculation to think about how much we might expend in order to build a rocket that goes to space. And my initial estimate was only 30,000 euros. And to be completely honest, we may still be a little bit off because we're still only like halfway through this process and we may have still be underestimating some costs that could come up in the future. And this is why I think it's so important to talk about these costs openly because I don't want other groups and other people to think that, you know, they can get away with just spending, you know, 10 or 20,000 euros and they can build a rocket to, that goes to space. You kind of have to think about all the parts that are in the process so that you don't get surprised by the big costs that come down the line. And that'll be able to properly prepare you for taking on this challenge in the correct way. Because of course we all know that there's only one thing that rockets burn faster than propellant and that's money. So you better have a lot of it. And remember to expand your horizons. <laughs>